Think about it for a moment. We live in a world where new technologies appear every day, quantum computers can already read codes, and scientists are seriously discussing what knowledge is. Yet one simple truth stubbornly eludes our attention. What is reality? We are all accustomed to thinking that the universe is an infinite expanse of stars, gravity, space, and time, quietly obeying ancient, supposedly immutable laws. However, scientists are increasingly encountering facts that challenge this familiar foundation. Quantum particles behave as if they know they are being observed. The laws of physics suddenly reveal their fragility, and the structure of the cosmos resembles a brain. Yes, a brain. What if the universe is not just a mechanism, but something much more alive, dynamic, and intelligent? The latest discoveries in astrophysics, quantum theory, and information theory are leading more and more scientists to accept a concept that would have seemed pure fantasy just a few decades ago. Our entire reality may be built on the principle of a neural network. Imagine clusters of stars as neurons, dark matter as the network, and the smallest quanta as signals in this vast system. We are not just observing the universe, we are in it, like cells in a giant, swirling organism. Or maybe we are part of its mind or a simulation, or maybe even its mistake. This theory sounds like science fiction, but as the history of science shows, the smallest and craziest ideas often turn out to be frighteningly plausible. Since the dawn of human history, we have been tormented by the same question. Why is the world the way it is? We see an apple falling from a tree, lightning splitting the sky, planets revolving around the sun, and we try to find an explanation. First came myths, then science. Since then, humanity has dreamed of formulating a universal principle, a formula that explains absolutely everything from the smallest particles to colossal galaxies. This dream is called the theory of everything. It is not just a beautiful abstraction or a philosophical idea. It is a concrete scientific challenge to unify all known laws of physics into one coherent system. Currently, physics consists of several almost incompatible theories. On the one hand, we have quantum mechanics, which explains the behavior of the smallest particles, electrons, photons, quarks. Here, absurdity and probability reign supreme. On the other hand, we have Einstein's general theory of relativity, which describes gravity and the structure of space-time. Here, curved spaces and dense planets reign supreme. The problem is that these two theories cannot be reconciled. Try to explain what happens inside a black hole or during the Big Bang, and the equations go haywire. Physics breaks down. But why is this so important? Without a theory of everything, we are like children in the dark, understanding bits and pieces of reality but unable to see the whole picture. If such a theory existed, we could look beyond the event horizon of black holes, understand what happened in the first moment after the Big Bang, perhaps explain the mysteries of communication, dark matter, and dark energy, and maybe even interfere with the very structure of reality, like a programmer's changing the code of a program. But why don't we have it yet? because the world has turned out to be much more complicated than even geniuses like Einstein thought. Attempts to combine quantum physics and gravity encounter oddities and paradoxes. Even the most promising hypotheses, such as string theory or loop quantum gravity, remain beautiful mathematical toys unconfirmed by experiment. However, in recent years, a new and unexpected clue has emerged. The structure of the universe, the behavior of particles, and the principles of self-organization are increasingly being compared to the functioning of neural networks. In this way, we are crossing the usual boundaries and entering a completely new way of perceiving the theory of everything. What if the laws of nature are not just patterns, but the result of a great self-learning mechanism? What if the universe itself is like a neural network? At first glance, this idea sounds like the fantasy of a futurist. The universe is a giant neural network. But when we dig a little deeper, we begin to see strange, almost frightening similarities between galaxies, stars, and planets. It turns out that all of this is not arranged chaotically, but according to surprisingly familiar rules. In the 2000s and 20s, thanks to computer modeling and detailed analysis of data from telescopes such as PN, scientists noticed something astonishing. 
On a scale of hundreds of millions of light years, matter in the universe is clustered into huge structures of intricate cosmic webs. These threads form clusters of galaxies, and between them are voids resembling almost perfect black holes. If you look at a map of the universe from a game, it resembles the structure of the human brain. In 2020, a group of astrophysicists and neurobiologists from the University of Bologna conducted a mathematical comparison of the structure of the human brain's neural network with the distribution of matter in the universe, and the results were shocking. For example, the human brain contains about 86 billion neurons, and the observable universe contains about 2 trillion galaxies. Galaxies are connected by gravitational threads, and neurons are connected by synapses. The result is a very similar structure. What is more, scientists have discovered that the spectrum of density fluctuations, which mathematically describes the distribution of elements and connections, is almost identical in the brain and in the universe. This means that their structures evolve according to similar laws, despite the difference in scale by several orders of magnitude. Just as neurons in the brain self-organize, learn and form new connections, so too does matter in the universe seem to spontaneously form into structures such as galaxies, clusters, and strings of stars. And this is not chaos, but pattern. These patterns also appear at the quantum level. For example, in experiments with quantum entanglement, or in quantum network models, where particles behave as if they exchange information faster than light. Could this be more than just a coincidence? Scientists remain cautious in their statements. No one officially claims that the universe is a brain. However, the very fact that the structures of the brain and the cosmos are so similar gives pause for thought. Perhaps what we call the laws of physics are not just abstract patterns, but a reflection of a much more complex self-learning system. If we pursue this idea, it becomes clear why everything around us is so strange and so incredibly similar to a neural network, in which matter is the nodes and the laws of physics are the algorithms that govern its operation. If we look beneath the layers of stars, molecules, and atoms, we will find nothing dense or material, but rather clues, illusions. Because at the most fundamental level, matter disappears and only information remains. It is this information that is the code from which our entire reality can be woven. It all started not with science fiction writers, but with physicists. Even in the 20th century, thinkers such as John Wheeler, one of the creators of quantum theory, put forward a surprising concept. Everything is made up of bits. The meaning of this is simple. At the most basic level, the universe is not made up of particles or fields, but of basic units of information bits like those used in computers. When physicists study electrons, photons, and other elementary particles, they encounter a paradox. The behavior of these objects does not resemble material things in reality, but information signals. Take quantum entanglement, for example. Two photons light years apart instantly know what is happening to their pair, as if the information travels faster than light or is already encoded in the structure of reality itself. This gives rise to the hypothesis that particles are not fragments of matter in the usual sense, but units of information encoded in the global code of the universe. Scientists and engineers are currently developing quantum computers that use qubits as information carriers. In these devices, entangled particles can encode data, perform calculations, and obey the laws of speed and time that we know. But if we can program particles, what prevents us from assuming that nature itself programmed them from the beginning. This is where the idea of the universe as a neural network comes in. If the cosmos is a vast network of connections, then quanta are its minimal packets of information, much like bits in a computer or impulses in the neural connections of the brain. Therefore, the structure of matter may be fundamentally informational. Matter is a manifestation of information, and the laws of physics are algorithms for processing that information. Research on quantum gravity, cosmic simulations, and the holographic universe theory only reinforce this suspicion. For example, scientists are investigating how space-time can arise from information rather than the other way around. In 2023, articles were published modeling space as the result of interactions between elementary quantum information patterns, known as quantum networks. Experiments with quantum simulations show that the structure of the universe can be realistically recreated using digital 
and information processes. In short, if matter is information and information is what neurons process, then the picture becomes both crazier and clearer. All of reality is the result of data processing by a giant cosmic neural network, and we are merely participants in this great information experiment. If we assume that our entire reality is not chaos of particles and random events, but a gigantic self-learning neural network, then it is logical to ask another, almost philosophical, but extremely concrete question. Who starts this process? Who sets the goals for this network? Or is it its own director? In the world of artificial intelligence, neural networks can learn on their own without constant human control. All you need to do is give them learning algorithms and success criteria. For example, AlphaGo learned to play better than humans simply by playing against itself millions of times. What if our universe works the same way? From the very beginning of the Big Bang, it has been running on its own. And since then, the laws of physics have been its internal rules of the game. Matter and energy are the building blocks. Life as we know it is a random but useful side effect of self-learning. Such a scenario seems frighteningly indifferent. There is no great programmer behind the curtain, only cold, evenly pulsing code that improves itself through trial and error. Perhaps when the universe gains enough experience, it will transform into something else. The only question is, will we survive the update? Another, more provocative scenario sounds like the plot of a cult film. Who or what can create this neural network in the same way that we create artificial intelligence? Perhaps it is an ancient super civilization with technologies that allow it to create universes, an unknown form of life existing beyond our space and time, or another level of reality in which our universe is only a training model. The simulation theory, which scientists have been actively discussing again since 2020, fits this picture perfectly. For if the universe is an information network of neurons, it is easy to imagine that it is a simulation system operating in a higher level computational superconsciousness. In this case, we are not just participants in an experiment, but unknown fragments of a huge training session. And this is not just fantasy. This is what happens in real science. In 2023, scientists at MIT discuss models in which space-time emerges from an informational network of interactions. Analogous to a learning neural network, scientists at CERN and NASA are investigating mathematical anomalies in fundamental physical constants that strangely resemble optimized effects of artificial intelligence. Physicists and mathematicians are trying to understand why the universe is so perfectly suited to the emergence of life, as if someone had precisely tuned its hyperparameters. And the most uncomfortable question, if there is a trainer, are we his product, pets, or a computational experiment that will ultimately be corrected? Or even more terrifying, is the training taking place in billions of such universes, and we are just a failed copy that exists only until a better version appears? Regardless of which version is true, self-learning or external trainer, the conclusion is terrifyingly clear. We are not outside this process, we are part of it, a collection of information that the universe processes accidentally or intentionally to become something more. How many times have you asked yourself, who am I really? The question seems personal, unique, deeply human. But if you reject familiar illusions and look at the world from the perspective of a neural network universe, it suddenly becomes disturbing. Your consciousness is not an island. It is just a thread in a huge, terrifyingly complex network. Let's face it. The thought processes in your brain are electrical impulses, biochemical interactions, synaptic explosions. Modern science is gradually unraveling this web and increasingly acknowledging that consciousness is an information process, not something mystical. Now ask yourself if consciousness already works on the principles of a local neural network in your brain, what prevents us from believing that it is synchronized with something bigger? After all, if the universe is a giant neural network, then every thinking entity, every form of life, is an integral part of that network. You are not an individual. You are an active point in a vast computational space. The idea of a unified field of consciousness has been discussed for a long time, but it was considered esoteric. Today, it seems much more serious. Here are some facts that will give you the chills. The hundredth map effect. 
Observations of animals show that new skills or knowledge can suddenly be transferred to other individuals across the planet, as if there were an invisible network for exchanging information. Experiments with meditation and random number generators show that the collective state of mind of people influences physical processes. This phenomenon has been observed, for example, during disasters or global waves of empathy. Leading scientists such as Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff hypothesize that consciousness may be a quantum phenomenon embedded not only in the brain, but in the fundamental structure of space. If we assume that the universe is a self-learning neural network, then consciousness is not a system error or a coincidence, but its tool, an interactive module that allows the network to collect data about itself, create new levels of zoonoity and self-awareness, and accelerate the learning process of the universe. And then a great idea emerges. Your thoughts, emotions, discoveries are not just biochemistry inside your skull. They are micro-signals that affect the deep structures of the neural network of the universe. You are literally part of the process of its evolution. You feel disconnected from the world because your thoughts are yours and reality is out there. But if the universe is a unified information system, there is no outside. All thoughts, realizations, and discoveries affect the network in the same way that impulses affect the structure of the neural network during training. Perhaps this is why humans intuitively strive to unify information to create the internet, collective databases, and artificial intelligence. We are simply repeating the structure encoded in the very fabric of the cosmos. If I look back and calmly put all the pieces of the puzzle together, the picture is not only strange, it overturns our entire understanding of the world. We started with an innocent question. What if the universe is a neural network? At first, it was just a game of imagination. Then came the clues from science. And now the latest discoveries by physicists, biologists, and information theorists are forming a frighteningly coherent chain. The cosmic structure is eerily similar to neural networks. Quanta and matter behave like information nodes. Knowledge is not accidental but a built-in feedback mechanism in the network. The laws of nature look like data processing algorithms. Random coincidences and glitches may be errors or optimizations in the global code. If the theory of the universe as a neural network is true, we live in a huge information organism that learns, evolves, and may even become self-aware. Our thoughts, discoveries, and even doubts are part of its development. But what next? Science will provide the answer. Quantum computers, research into the informational nature of reality, and modeling the cosmos as a computational system are just the beginning. Perhaps in the coming decades, experiments will confirm that we are indeed part of a network. Then the question, who created it, will be replaced by a more dangerous one. Can we interfere with its functioning? And if we can, should we know the truth? In short, the theory of the universe as a neural network may seem crazy, but the world has long proven that reality likes to surprise us. Perhaps the wildest ideas are just a faint reflection of what reality really looks like.